Well seen. Nombaleta Balesh. Very soft. Yeah, that's really soft. Yeah, well, that's because of the zero fuel. Yep. And no cattle on here. No. So you see where it's all cracking and yep. it just melts back down again. Yep. Two years of so this was big cracks where you see these lines now. Yep. Huge. And now it's mulching back in. Yep. So all the residue mm -hmm. that we throw off the combines falls down in these cracks. If you dig these up, mm -hmm. you know, there's loads of this residue all the way, way down. Way down there. in there. Yeah. Hmm. You see, and it huh. starts breaking down quick. Yep. Decaying down in the soil instead of on top. Yep. Yep. Still hasn't gone that far in yet. So it's hard out there. So it hasn't filled up the whole. Uh, it's only filled the top mm. and the bottom, and the middle's not there yet. Mm -hmm. See, it's still hard there. Mm -hmm. See that crack there? Yeah. So yeah. Okay. And that's hard. Mm. So it's only done the top surface. Mm -hmm. so that's why we have to be careful with our planting dates. Yeah. Still need more rain. Need more rain. Or else, if it doesn't rain, yeah. you look pretty limited. But we see that's in the middle. Mm -hmm. Is we dig down below that. See what's down there. Down below that, it'll be wet again. So it just needs to percolate through. And that was on top of a ridge where that hard was. So see yeah. what's on so the this side. This is on a, more on a planting row here. Mm -hmm. See there, so it's just done the top surface. Yep. And that's still dry in the middle. Mm -hmm. and the cracks are still there. Mm. See that? That's all hard. Yep. Sure is. Oh. And that's the type of soil you see, it's, it's really. Cool. That's what it turns into. Is that ever hard? Like glass. Yeah. See, so it's really hard, hard, hard. It goes really hard. Hmm. Like a there's mass. No sponge to it, eh? You know, like there's, there's no, probably not much. It's very low organic matter. Yeah. It's very dense soil. So you think that's quite sodic, you think? Yeah. And that's the challenge here? That's the challenge. Mm -hmm. To get the roots to even, it's not even penetrating it really, is it? Well, they do go, you know, once it softens up like this, you see. Yeah, at the beginning. When it softens up at the beginning, you know, it's really, you see. It grows very mellow. There's a lot, you see the organic matter seen yeah, there now, yeah, yeah. on the safflower. Yeah. But as it dries, you know, it's yeah, it's, it could set up to be, but it's very, very smooth, very, very fine. See that? Heavy, heavy clay. Very heavy clay, smearing. Yeah. So that's the sodic magnesium. Yeah. See that? Just like grease. Just like grease. Yeah. Hmm. Where's that track the tires? Doesn't wear out points. Yes. But you know, I mean, this was a reasonable safflower crop here. We got yeah. Uh, yeah. In a really dry year. So we're starting with, see how it goes there from go. there. There's some roots, you can see. Yep. Okay, from last year. See, so they, they move around a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And safflower is pretty good at sodium yeah. tolerance. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, you want to keep growing mm -hmm. those kinds of plants to get carbon down there. Yeah. Hmm. So we need to, that's why we're not on to planting yet, because it's yep. just a bit. Needs a bit more rain. Needs a bit more rain just to fill it up. Yep. So what's below that hard? Can you break through that hard or not? we can't really get down there today? Where's that? Like going down below the yeah, we cracks? Will. It'll be wet down below. Yeah, how far down do you think? Oh, about 600. Yeah. Ready to lift it on. Really good result. 
bolts out of there. And, um, and then all this safflower block will put all sorghum on it. This year's sorghum. To, you can see we need to get residue yeah. on. That's right, yeah. Just not enough Taller, residue. bigger stalk, eh? Yeah, bigger stalk and more biomass mm -hmm. so we can get cover like this. Yeah, okay. That's what I want it to look like. On the ground cover, shade it. Shade it all Keep from the moisture. heat. Because the heat's just, yes. I mean, you can see bakes, here. Bakes, bakes immediately. Look at that. I mean, yeah. that quick set baking off. So you need a pretty powerful seed too to push through that if it does bake on you. Yeah. If you get in under here, you see mm -hmm. the moisture's right yeah. there still. It's not baking. You see there? Mm -hmm. It's not baking. So we want that mm -hmm. over everything. We'll bring our meter out here and check the respiration of your soil. I bet it's... Right here, where it's grassier, you'll have respiration. I'm sure. Out there, maybe not. Yeah. It's already done its thing. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But we've got a pretty good cover. As we go further down in the fields, we've got a lot okay. more of this cover. Yeah. So this residue is only what? This was finished harvest in September. So then three months. Mm -hmm. So it's decayed Since like this. Since you've harvested. Yeah. yeah. September, October, Doesn't November, take long, December. does it? It rots down really fast. Yeah. You now with the sun and heat and rain and mm -hmm. see, how, see how well that's protecting yeah. that malt, that moisture there. Yeah. See it's mm -hmm. right on the surface. And then right beside it here. Yeah. It's drying. It's drying off already. It's already crumbling. So if you had a lot of trash cover. Yeah. It can help. You see? Yeah. That versus that. Yeah. And that sets up hard, that crust like down yeah. below? No, it won't. It'll Not cap like bad. that for a start. More organic matter in it. And then it starts binding together. Yeah. See, like in these cracks, if you follow this moisture down, that'll go all the way down to the... All the way down to where that bottom of that block is. Yeah. That's it. So, so if this, we could seed on the seed row, yeah. if we could ac accurately enough seed on the seed row, we'd be able to... Mm -hmm to plant a bit earlier yeah. because we've got... And the soil tends to crack down the seed row? No, no, it tends to crack between the rows because okay. the rows hold it together. I see, yeah, okay. And it pulls between them. Yeah. So is this like the the self-mulching soil in Australia? Yeah. The soil is very same. Very same. Is there, yeah. yeah. Black, self-mulching, cracking soil. Yeah. Hmm. You know, it's, there's big cracks over there. We don't yeah. fill them in with cattle. See, if we have cattle in here, that would be they kick filled all the in. soil into those cracks. I see. And that and they fill them up. Yep. And then when the rain comes, it's jammed. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't go down. Does it go down? It's see, cool there. Yeah. Well, it'll it'll just run off. Yeah. But now we can trap the rain. Yeah. And fill up the profile. Sure. I planted with sulfate of ammonia here last year. Oh, I see a little bit. And I think that was a penalty. Yeah. I think it was a big penalty. Burnt it up. Caused it to burnt up the roots dry up sooner. Yep. The roots didn't go down. Yep fed on it. Yeah, because the year before when I just planted it without anything, yep. it actually was a much better crop. Yeah. Much, much better. Huh. So lesson hard learned. Mm -hmm. No fertilizer. Yeah.